Hi, so my name's Adam Chandler and this is my blog Rice for Britain. I'm trying to encourage everyone in Britain to cook uh, my British version of a paella. I'm joined today by Alex Leaf, Hello. who's a food journalist or one of the journalists with um, Viva Lewis and Viva Brighton. <laughs> Little plug there. Um, so we finished this dish. Um, it's a paella with white bait um, or sprats, whatever you want to call them. Um, it looks amazing, smells amazing. Um, follow the blog to find out the recipe, um, but now we're just going to tuck in. Right, fantastic. So the onion has been cooking for about five or ten minutes, and at this point we're going to add the garlic and the tomato sauce. So we just have some tin tomatoes here, chopped tin tomatoes. And there we go. And garlic, and it goes. And then we just cook this gently for another five minutes before we then add the paprika or pimenton, as they call it in Spain. And this is really the base of your paella. The Spanish will call it the sofrito. And if you hear some uh, shouting in the background, that's my little boy, just about to go and collect his big brother from school. So the tomato is starting to go a little bit pasty, um, which is exactly what we're looking for. So at this point, we're going to add the paprika, um, so let's actually use a teaspoon or less. This is sweet paprika, not too spicy. And then we'll just get that through. And then at the same time, we'll add some seasoning. So we let that cook for a few more minutes. It looks and smells absolutely wonderful. So we've got the onion sweated down, we've got a tin of tomatoes, some uh, pimenton or paprika, and some salt and pepper in the pan and some garlic. <clears throat> so at this point we just want to add some rice. So probably around 350 grams, which will feed four people. I just kind of sprinkle it in until I think it looks okay. Because I really want you to kind of work out your own measurements and your own judgment as to what you think. And then we're going to add the stock and the peas. So the stock can go in. There's about a litre of fish stock here. We'll put that in. Give it all of it. I'll maybe all of it. Yeah, there you go, done. Sprinkle in the peas. That'll do. Turn the heat up to get the stock to simmering point. Then we're just going to simmer this uncovered for about 10 minutes. And then we're going to add the white bait and put it in the oven. Okay, so I've taken it off the heat. It's been cooking for about 10 minutes now. Now at this point, Alex from Viva Lewis is going to arrange the white bait. We're then going to put some tin foil over it and pop it in the oven. Okay, Alex. Right. Here we go. Have white bait will travel. So we're looking for kind of a nice sort of spoky wheel effect, really. Uh, right, okay. Well, I'm going to start from the middle, which is where every good spoke must start. And then um, put a couple of fish like that. And um, I will go nose to nose. Like that, although you can always put the fish the other way around, of course. Um, and start with a cross, and then it needs to be photogenic for the magazine. Yeah, it does. This is going to be printed twelve and a half thousand times. Um, now, these white bait, um, Adam's going to tell you how to say them in Spanish. <laughs> uh, you'd say, would you say bocarones? Yeah, bocarones. Um, the bocarones, um, they're very widely eaten in, in Spain. Particularly with vinegar, bocarones yeah, and vinagre. They're very nice, aren't they, with vinegar. You'll get them as a little kind of ration, or yeah. kind of what we might call a tapa um, in all bars. You'll go into a bar and they'll have a glass counter with various things, and there will almost always be some bocarones. Very nice with a beer, aren't they? Anyway, do you think that's done? It looks very Should good. I, I might as yeah. well put them all in, actually. It's kind of going to... Have a, a silver, you know, yeah. like a silver look to it. Yeah, a lot of these beach bars or chiringuitos, they often have um, like a little uh, upturned boat outside with um, hot coals, and they do sardines espetos. So the sardines have actually been piled on a, a stick and cooked over over coals for that sort of barbecue effect. Which is the great smell. You can smell it from hundreds of yards away, can't you? As you're yeah. approaching, it really gets you hungry as you as you're coming towards it. I want to go back to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, we can approximate here. 
Okay, that's a great job, looks extremely artistic. So we're just okay. going to cover that with file and pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes and then it's job done.